Hello and thanks again for joining me for another episode of Escape the Pacific. So, uh, we're back at our home base still. We are still on the evening of day eight. So, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go and check out Island C. Possibly do K and J while we're out there. See what else is around there. Um, and then that top corner up around us. So I don't know if I can zoom that in much more because it sort of just puts it off the edge of the map. But uh, so we're on huge trees. There are more islands around us. Um, but we'll go and check out that lower corner, the lower right hand corner. Uh, this island is where we found the sextant and also I believe off probably going to be the closest direction off to uh, to when we head off to the next cluster. Not too sure about that yet but we'll sort that out. Uh, we need to set up a sundial or find some way of finding the time to set our watch before we start using the sextant but we'll uh, finish exploring this cluster first got our candle lantern going alrighty so just gonna cruise on over take a seat here get you to speed up time now uh, yeah. Is that the Southern Cross? That looks like the Southern Cross to me. Alright, I'm just going to hit you for a sec. So. Yeah, now when I look back up at it, it doesn't look so much like the Southern Cross. Uh, maybe it is. Okay. So now this is a Southern Hemisphere thing. But, okay, that there, you can barely see. There's a star there, and a star there, a star there, a star there, and then a little one in there. That's the Southern Cross. If you look at the Australian flag, uh, you're going to see the Southern Cross on that. Okay, and now, down in this direction from the Southern Cross, you will see these two stars. One's Alpha and one's Beta. I can't remember which is which. I think the brighter one is Alpha. Um, which I think is also commonly known as Alpha Centauri. I'm not sure if that's the same Alpha or not. But anyway, we call these two the Pointer Stars. And this is the Southern Cross. So this is a thing in real life, because these, these stars are accurate. But in real life, if you draw a line going from from the top of the cross or from the shorter end all the way down and then these two pointers at a right angle to them draw another line going down where these two lines intersect is going to be south so let's just stand up for a minute and uh pull out our map and our compass so we are heading heading north no we are heading south so yep uh, that's pretty accurate so if we if we drew a line down there and another line across there they meet up somewhere around here uh, that's pretty much south to me so if you're ever lost in the southern hemisphere in real life that is how you can uh, navigate using the stars so that's something i learned uh, when i used to work out on a cattle farm uh, 
I wasn't really a cattle farmer. I was uh, working with racehorses, but my I lived on the property and my boss raised cattle on the property. He used to round them up on horseback and he used to work on a place called Elsie Station, which is out in the middle, out in the desert of Australia. If you've seen the movie We of the Never Never, uh, that movie's all about Elsie Station. So, yeah, just a little bit of information there. So, we're going to hit you, fast travel this, and I'll cut out most of the journey, come back to you once we, uh, once we get a bit closer to the island. Okay, so we're closing in on the island. Just going to cruise on in here. Looks like another pretty small island. Don't know that we'll find a great deal here. Let's start bringing these sails down a tad. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Alright, got a coconut. Got more turtles. Got a few adult turtles here by the looks of it. Mangrove. No salt. Got ourselves a crate here. Some more cooking pots and stuff. Another fireplace. Still no axes lying around, but we've got a fair supply. Alright, well, not much here. Let's just take another look. Let's uh, hit escape. There's not even a shipwreck here. So, do have more turtle eggs if we want them. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, we got more tall grass. Okay. We'll nab some of that. Uh, we'll just dump it here for the moment. We'll pick up more dried grass kindling to have a fair supply of it. But uh, may as well take what we can. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think that the. Uh, pretty sure that the tall grass and the, the dead grass does not regrow. More tall grass here, we'll grab that one. Probably be a bit easier to see in the daytime. It's quite a bit of this tall grass here, so uh, maybe we'll make some uh, walls, some windows. That's quite a haul of tall grass. Is there more? It's 
another one there. Okay, so what have we got in here? Muddy water. Yeah, maybe we'll start keeping the muddy water and we'll boil it up later. Got some oil, pot, another candle, lantern holder. Uh, I suppose we'll take that. Alright, so we'll pop this oil in our bucket. Gives us another empty bottle. Pop our muddy water down there. Might as well start collecting some and we can cook it up. Alright, so... Put our cooking pot in here. Uh, the goblet. I'm not too fussed about. Take the crate though. Whack that over here. Just, let's just uh, drag it up onto the shore a bit. It's not very flat. So if you're holding your raft and you press your uh, left mouse button, it'll sort of straighten it out. It's still going to dip depending on the, the land surface that we're on. Doesn't want to go over that dip there. Kind of try and bring it across so we're a bit flatter. Don't want to be on too much of an angle when we're trying to build stuff. Get this out of the way. Okay, so pop coconut away. Did offload a few coconuts back at our base, so we had a little bit of room in there if we uh, can stash some more if we find them. Um, alrighty. So, let's see here. I mean, we could put some grass walls up. Maybe we'll do some windows. Let's do a couple of grass windows. So, openings. Let's, uh, that's the half door. That's the window. That's favourite, that one. And it's not letting me because we're too many other things favorited perhaps these ones up here all right let's favorite that one so two small sticks and a tall grass roll so we have one two three four five windows so far so we're going to hold down B, openings, pop that down, add a grass roll, couple of small sticks, pull out a hammer, Okay, pop your hammer away. Yeah. Uh, uh, look. 
looks like I dropped that crate when I was moving my raft around. Ah, oh, there it is. No, that's not it. Where'd that crate go? I didn't tie it down. And it seems to have disappeared. Ah, oh, there it is. It slid all the way back there. Alrighty. So let's try that again. Plonk that down. So that's what happens if you don't tie stuff down. Let's uh, pop this stuff away. We'll grab some ropes out. Oh, we only need one of the large ones. Grab a small one. Okay. Tie that down. And offload that. All right, so I'll grab this and pop this in here. So we've got to position yourself so it goes green. Attach it. And this also has a bunch of different positions. So we can change it so that'll open outwards in this direction. That'll open inwards. That'll open outwards, I believe. And this one, I think this is the one that'll open upwards. So let's just fasten that. Put our rope away. Hold E to open and it'll open upwards. Alrighty. So what I'll do is I will make up a few more of those and put them on and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I've got windows all the way around. Well, except for this bit that we haven't walled off. Now, over here, I've put this one sideways. We can open it out. That's as far as it goes. And that'll kind of act like another sort of barrier so we don't slip off to the side. This one here is a bit problematic. Um, kind of gets in the way if we have it opening indoors. And regardless of if you open it fully, regardless of which position you put it in, it's going to interfere with your stairs a bit. So... I'm just going to have it slightly open. Not open all the way. There we go. So, uh, that leaves us with a bit of grass. Yeah, also, uh, when I was attaching one of them bits of grass, it did sort of cause a bit of havoc. And my raft flipped. Kind of like that. So, just going to try and move it around a bit. It uh, flipped back up onto that, that ledge there. So, we're just going to set it out. I guess over here a bit further. Get it a bit more flat. It's a bit of a tricky spot with such a big raft, but uh, all right, that looks good. 
Okay, so we've still got a few rolls left. Um, let's have a look here. I'm thinking maybe we will... Put these on. Yeah. I'm going to do these ones. Kind of facing inwards. I think I've got it around the right way. So let's try this. Uh, how much grass does that need? Three. So we'll grab one, two, three of them. Pop that in. Uh, we need two long sticks and two small sticks. There's two long sticks there. Pop those in. And... Chop that one. Hammer that. Yep. Okay. So I've actually got the inside of the wall. So the the uh, the face of it. So you can see it's got sticks in that here. And then it's all fuzzy grass in here so uh, this is typically supposed to be the outside and this is the inside I've done it like that because we're going to put planks on the outside so I'll whack another one in there and then I'll come back to you I'll just be back in just a moment again okay so I whacked another one in there now I just remembered I was actually going to put a door here so we're going to dismantle this and I hate dismantling stuff that's already built on a raft because sometimes the materials bounce around they fall and they can end up with stuff loose on your raft so hopefully we uh, pick everything up You won't always get all of your materials back. Uh, depending on your dismantling skill, you'll get uh, a bigger percentage of materials back. All right, so what we're going to do here is put in uh, the, the door instead. Like so. One long stick. Uh, four small sticks. We'll just chop this. Let's push out the way so I can see what I'm doing. Whoops. Right. So, four of them. Pop them in. And we'll drop this one. Two grass rolls. So, we lost one grass roll by doing that. By dismantling it because it took three to build it we only got two back okay how much grass have we got left we got three rolls so uh, we'll do a door and we'll do one more 
one more window, I guess. So, a couple of small sticks. So I need four small sticks and a long stick. Pop them in our bag and grab the long stick. Uh, over here. Pop that in. Pop the small sticks in. Grab a hammer. Alrighty. Pop our hammer away. Pick up this door. And pop that in here. Whoops. Got to hold down the uh, left mouse button. And now. Can't really tell what position that is. So you need your small rope again. Just the same as the windows. Let's see which way that opens. Yep, that's the way I want it. So that'll open inwards. Uh, I suppose we could... Nah... That'll do. Okay. And uh, I usually like chuck a little chest or something in behind there. It's kind of out of the way. Alright. Um, let's just see if we missed any. So we can put a door on the front. If there's two more rolls. I don't think so though, I think we picked it all up. But uh, eventually we'll replace those with, with grass anyway. Uh, sorry, with planks. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more tall grass here. So, pop this window on. Over here. And this one, because we've got our walls inside out, this one's probably going to go um, the wrong way. But uh, tie that on. Uh, we'll pop that in our bag, we'll loosen it. And pop our rope away and we'll... Go to the next position. I think that's set the upwards position. No. Yeah, so that's going to open upwards on the inside. I uh, don't really want that. So, I guess for this one, we will just uh, have it opening this way. Like so. It'll be a bit in the way. At least, see with the ones, when you've got them opening like that, you can walk underneath them just fine. When they stick out like that, you run into them. Uh, well, let's see what it looks like if we open it on the inside. So we'll loosen that, pop the rope away, we will click for the next position. Pull out our rope, fasten it, and open that up. Yeah, it's not going to interfere too much. Okay. Alright, so that is doors and windows. Uh, let's have a look where we are. Oh, I left a bucket up here. Surprised that didn't float away. 
and didn't cause us any havoc on our trip. So I was doing some salt production earlier on. And uh, always make sure you don't leave stuff loose lying around. Because it didn't go anywhere. But typically, unless they've changed how floors work, typically if you've got stuff loose on your floors like that, it's going to mess with your boat bad. Okay. Um, let's have a look. So, C. Uh, hit shift. Hold down shift and click on there. And okay. Uh, we'll call that nothing. So we've got K and J around here. So that's where we've got our map of compass. Oh, we've also got I. Where's that? Uh, that's way up. Way up north. J over there. And we got K there. I don't think there was anything else. There's a lot of coconut palms here. But, uh... Alright. So K is going to be our next, uh... Our next trip. But that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, then please leave me a like or a comment down below. And... If you're new here and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.